Well, one day I went to school. I was about eight years old. We went out to play basketball like we did any other day. And then I broke my ankle. And that's when all the issues started happening. They actually found that there were no ligaments or tendons in my ankle at all. And that's when they realised that there is actually a problem with the muscle as well. The muscles seem to be just growing out of control. Now uh, it just constantly grows. I've had 15 operations on my legs since then. They've found some sort of muscular disease that they're not 100% certain of what it is. I woke up one morning and just decided that life really wasn't worth living the way I was. Couldn't walk, couldn't get to the bathroom. I had to get Dad to lift me out of bed. I was on 22 tablets in the morning and 26 at night of various painkillers and antidepressants and that's when I decided to stop it. And yeah, I think it was about a week later I ended up having a stroke in hospital. I honestly can't remember life before that day. I've probably blocked it out because I can't remember a day without pain anymore. And I probably don't want to remember a day without pain because I'll know what I'm missing. One day we'll know the answer. We'll know what's causing Stephen's problem. I'm absolutely convinced about that. What I don't know is how long it's going to take. Everyone in my group is aimed at trying to find as many disease genes as fast as we can to help as many people, as many patients, as many families as we can. The visual picture that I have of what we do is you know, those old maps of Australia where there are just bits of Australia known and the centre is an open space. That's what I feel about finding uh, human disease genes. We're gradually filling in the whole map of every disease gene that we humans suffer from. We're explorers, discoverers. The word science comes from the ancient word skio, which means to know. Looking at a patient like Stephen, he hasn't got an answer. That's what drives me. If we don't succeed in finding genes, then there will still be these patients who don't get an answer ever. So there's a lot of work to do. One day we'll know the answer.